it's time to knock off work and hit the road for one month on a bit of an adventure going down to visit a mate for his birthday and then in the middle of Australia to see what it's like in there there's my main man Fitzy getting his mini bago ready <laughs> Sandy and Glenda are doing a bit of a debrief and there's the troopy ready to go looking a little low in the back end I must say it has got two jerry cans of water on the back and the tire and it is chock-a-block full of gear so um, yeah those leaf springs are looking almost flat <laughs> So I might look at uh, upgrading that one day when I win lotto. Hey, gun old soldier, you uh, on top of it all? Look at your setup. Look at it all. Everything fits with. It's like it's like bloody. The finest tolerance. It's like a um, an IKEA flat pack that you just pull everything out and rebuild it. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Good stuff, mate. Cool. So we just pulled up for a uh, quick break. We've only got about 200 k's to go. So we're at um, South Gundagai. And uh, yeah, just, just a real quick break so that we can um, recharge the batteries, as they say, and um, stretch the legs and get going again. Cars are going great. Everything's going great. Life is good. <laughs> Fitzy's into it already. I'm going to go today. So I meant to go bush uh, around this sort of walk through this rainforest and then bush bash into this camp. And Mick was going half up the field. And then uh, there was so much more to do. I think I think they had to pull up and make camp. But because Ben had been out there a lot, he, yeah. uh, he knew. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Fitzy and Glenda are still asleep. Chase is asleep. So we just got the fire going again. We're making a cup of tea. Just grabbed a bacon and egg roll at Gerildery. Uh, nice little town. Great bacon and egg roll. Pretty good coffee. Time to keep going. We got a big day today. Um, about seven hours of driving, so probably get in about five the Savo um, to Natimuk. What a lovely little picnic ground under the shade of the peppercorn tree. So we uh, left Narandra this morning about nine o'clock and uh, we've now made it to Natimuk. It's a cool little town, sort of uh, quite a quiet little place and um, really uh, big rock climbing community. Because there's a, uh, I can't remember the name of the the range, something like a Ropolis or something like that. I'll know more tomorrow. Anyway, so we've driven like 500 k's today, and I'm pretty buggered to be honest. Um, just had a glass of red, which is nice. A shower, even better. And uh, this is our campsite over here, and the guys are having a good old yak around the fire. And pretty much just a big day of driving. Beautiful country to drive through. And uh, yeah, we've had a ball. But I've got to say, I'm going to be happy to just hit the bed, crash out. And um, tomorrow we'll go up to those mountains and have a look at the, them. And um, 
yeah, have a bit of a look around and then head down to Mount Gambia um, that evening or that afternoon, uh, which, yeah, will only take an hour or two. Big day, but a great day. Look at this. Mate, I do not know what you think you're going to do. If you want to stay in that car, you will be my dinner tonight. So come on, out you get. Come on. That's enough. That's enough of that. Come on. Good boy. I know, it's a troopy. Good girl, actually. Just wanted to have a closer look at the troopy, didn't you? Bloody clown. Stay out of my troopy. What are you doing? You're getting a little too familiar. <laughs> See that, what you're standing on there could quite easily take your head off, mate. No fear. This one's cleaning Jason's car, getting all the bugs off. Oh no, you've upset the Gumadichi. <laughs> Do it again. town which will be handy um, do some get some supplies and stuff so that's pretty that's amazingly clear Fitzy you like hey, but you look you sort of if you didn't know you look oh yeah as if you jump in there like, look at all the... yeah it just looks snaky to me but that's all right um it's it beautiful feel that cold actually no, it'd be fine, especially on a day like today. Mm. Warm. Well, I mean, the water, I'm sure, is freezing, but we'll be right. Mm. We'll be laughing. Looks pretty cool. Let's do it. Yep. Glad to do it, buddy. So we go in here, and I don't know where we go. Fitzy knows, so we'll follow Fitz. Okay, well, here we are at Ewan Ponds, which is the first time I've ever snorkeled in a... Um, in a sinkhole. I can hardly talk because of this thing. It's about the second time I've ever put a bloody one of these on, but Fitzy guarantees that I'll appreciate it. Apparently it's pretty cold in here. 10 to 15 degrees is the normal water temperature. And uh, yeah, if you zoom in or just pan down over there, you can see that the water is crystal clear. And uh, yeah, Fitzy's got an underwater camera, so we should get some images and it should be great.
where the uh, Eight Mile Creek reaches the ocean. So if you've been to that uh, next town. Any time you're ready. Right. Yeah. You going? Chances know at this stage. You got a swift water rescue cycling leader on standby? That's what I need. For the still water rescue? No. The only boom that'll happen is when you hit the water with your belly. <laughs> Come on, you gotta go now, Jace. Any time.
Come on, Glenda, give him a push. Oh, that's better. Come on. To come tomorrow. Wait a minute. Go. sort of get half under water and half on land. I'm full of it. Huh? <laughs> right, hang on. Take it back out and do it again. Come up really slowly. If you talk to you or me? Go hang on, wait. <laughs> He's talking to you, I think. Stay there like that, Jase. This is what I live with. It's in the zone, whatever it is. I hope that's the weight that feels heavy on my bum. So uh, that's it. You're not. You don't swim back. You get out. You do. Yep. You're all right. Is it filming or photographing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, baby. Oh, wow. 